this video. We're going to look at problem number 19 on the free ATIT's math practice test that you can find over at www.bcraftmath.com. Number 19. The table below shows the cost to rent a paddle boat at a park beside a lake. Write an equation that models the cost C for the time in hours H that the paddle boat is rented. If you rent the paddle boat for one hour, it's going to cost you four dollars and fifty cents. Two hours, nine dollars. Three hours, thirteen dollars and fifty cents. If you look at the trend here, each time we are increasing the cost by four dollars and fifty cents. We can find an equation for the cost C is going to be equal to four dollars and fifty cents times H, where H is the number of hours that you rent the paddle boat. This is the answer to our problem. The importance of being able to find an equation like this one here is now we can determine the cost for any number of hours that we rent the paddle boat. For example, suppose you wanted to rent a paddle boat for 10 hours. Who would want to rent a paddle boat for 10 hours? I don't know, but let's suppose we did. If we take 10 and plug it into this equation, $4.50 times 10, that would cost you $45 to rent that paddle boat. And we can determine this for any number of hours. As a matter of fact, if you were to go the other way around and you knew how much money you spent to rent the paddle boat, we could actually do division to determine how many hours we rented it. But that's neither here nor there. I just want to throw some things out there to talk about why it's important to know how to find an equation. And in this case, dealing with cost in terms of hours. And there you have it, problem number 19 on the free ATIT's math practice test. And again, you can find this over at www.bcraftmath.com. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.